All right, we're here with Kyle Hendricks now, and Kyle, we really just want to get inside your brain and, and what your routine is in between starts. So for you, you know, if you're on a regular five-day routine, or even six if there's an off day in between, what do you like to do each day? Like day one, day two, day three, what's your typical plan? Yeah, so now in the part of my career I'm at, day one, I used to pick up a ball and kind of throw light and get the arm moving. Now I kind of take day one for just full recovery. You know, don't pick up a baseball, do a lot of stuff in the weight room and training room. Uh, soft tissue work and stuff, a little bit of running. Day two, that's when I come back out, definitely pick up a baseball, get the arm moving. Distance kind of depends on how I'm feeling, anywhere from 90 to 150 on flat that ground. first day. Flat ground only for sure, yeah. And then day two is a big lift day for sure, big lower body, a little more running, uh, big shoulder work day just to get the arm going again. Moving on to day three, that's when I'll get back on the mound, touch the mound. Usually I like to stretch it out, kind of long toss on that day. Then come in here and the volume will kind of depend also on kind of where I'm at, how I'm feeling. So it could be anywhere from 30 to upwards of 50 if I'm trying to work on stuff or face a couple hitters or whatever it may be. Day four, that kind of gets now into the prep day. Getting ready, looking forward to your next opponent. You pick up a baseball, throw a real light, I probably get out to about 90 feet on day four. And that's also the day where I'll sit down and break, break down video. You know, look at the opponents, look at each hitter, look at, count specific things that I'm looking for, uh, pitches I can throw these guys, and kind of formulate a game plan to take in the next day. What time do you typically get to the ballpark and the day you start? I would say day of start, it's maybe about three and a half hours before okay. first pitch, sometimes four. You pretty much go in and eat right something right away. If it's a day game, I'm eating breakfast. If it's a night game, I'm eating lunch, you know. So when you come out here for the bullpen, what time do you get in here to start throwing off the mound and how many pitches do you like to throw? Yeah, so 7.05 game. I'd say I'm walking out about 6.30. So by the time I'm getting on the mound, it's probably 6.45. 6.45 I'm on the mound and it's about a 10 minute session. It's usually somewhere 40, just over 40 pitches uh, for me. And a lot of guys differ, but I would say that's pretty typical. It's somewhere around 35 to 45 pitches for a warm up. And yeah, I start out of the wind up first, see where my fastball's at, down on both sides of the plate, go to change ups after that. Then I'm working up in the zone for a little bit, move on to my curveball, have someone stand in the box, go through a right handed batter real quick, a sequence, go through a left handed batter, boom, shut it down. It's about time for the anthem, You're ready to go, sit here with Wilson, and go out, go out into the game. So as you come out here, I know we talked about like feeling the fans. Do you acknowledge them really at all? Like, you know, you hear your name, you hear Wilson's name. Do you kind of try to tune them out a little bit or do you like to feel that energy? It's an unbelievable atmosphere, walking out and having all that. It doesn't matter what the, what the temp or what the weather is really. You know, they're always here and they're ready. And so you feel that energy right away. So you're in a temperature controlled environment. How do you get adjusted to the temperature coming out of the bullpen? How do you make sure your hand is warm? And like, how do you just deal with the temperature in general in the, in the environment? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good when you first come out. If it's a really cold day, honestly, I'll give myself like an extra five minutes, get my body temperature up and get moving, try and get some kind of sweat going. And when it's hot, you want to conserve more more. Really just get the arm moving, get it loose. Once you feel good, shut it down, take it in the bullpen. So when you're walking from the bullpen back to the dugout, usually walking with like Willie or Tommy or CUI, what do you guys talk about? There isn't much said, I would say, from the bullpen into the game. Little reminders maybe of big key things that we're wanting to do to really take into the game for pitch one. But outside of that, it's not a whole lot because you're, you're doing more in between innings. You know, those in-game adjustments after you're seeing some swings and what the, the approach they're taking on you. So as you're getting ready to take the field, we've talked about everything leading up to a start. You're standing in the dugout here, bottom step. What's your, what's your thought process before you go out there? Yeah, so this is kind of right before first pitch, really. We know what we're going to go attack with for the first hitter. So it's really getting that mindset of, okay, focus on execution, know where I'm going to go with this fastball and kind of where I'm going to go from there. But then it's just telling yourself, hey, be open. Be open to thinking through it. And that's when I'm ready to almost take the field. So before you step on the field, before you actually go out there, are you locking eyes with a teammate? Like, what are you doing? Yeah, really the last minute thing, uh, the, really the cue for me to take the field, I'll be top stepping it, or right here, one step. I'll come up, Jay Hay's always the guy. He's down at the far stairwell. So I'm, I'm looking for him. We make eye contact from here. He kind of gives me a head nod. I give him one, and he's the first one to take the field. So he kind of heads out. I, I Then I start going right behind him. Wilson's right behind me. Take your little jog out to the mound, and that's when you know you know it's game time. You're you're ready to go. Is that when the adrenaline starts, or has the adrenaline already happened? 
The adrenaline's definitely already hit a little bit. Um, this is almost the time where it almost fades. Uh, you know, you don't have too much adrenaline going or, yeah, too much of anything really. You're just ready to have fun and go out there with your teammates and play a ball game.